So talk to me about the corporate job and the shift. I mean, a lot of people work corporate while they're pursuing their dreams. Oh, yes, absolutely. Sometimes the corporate takes over the dreams and sometimes Ooh. the dreams take over take the over the job. So you got, yeah. you got to talk to me because I could like really relate with that. So. Yeah, in my journey, the dream took over the corporate. But shout out to my corporate company because the whole time I was there, I was still DJing. I was still mm -hmm. rapping and they supported it. Like if we were like, if we were viewed like we were on a local television show, they would like play it around the campus, which was pretty cool. So I've always like, I have no, like no regrets for being there because they always support it. I've, you know, DJ company events at the location. So that was really cool. They were a very supportive company. But one day, like I worked uh, in corporate America for 10 years and the Lord was like, and I, but I complained about it after a while. I mean, it was a good, it was an analyst job. You got out of college, yeah. that's what you want. You know, you got a good desk job good and you're doing job. what you love. <laughs> That's a good paying job too. Yeah, it was. It was God, to miss it. But the point is, <laughs> <laughs> but I remember the funny thing though. I wanted it, but I guess I I always still knew what I wanted in the back of my head. Cause even mm -hmm. the first thing I bought with my money that like my first paycheck was like a whole little studio bundle. Okay. I was like, yeah, I was like, so I definitely still wanted it. So that definitely was still in the mm -hmm. back of my head. But I uh, worked corporate America for 10 years and got, and I've been complaining like the last probably five years I had tried to shift. I ended up moving from San Antonio to DC to okay. shift just to get a different atmosphere. And then Radio One was in DC and I knew that. After 10 years, God was like, you know, quit your job and move to Atlanta. At first, he was like, move to Atlanta. And I was like, well, I was on the federal side of my job. I was like, well, there's no federal side of this job here. Like I was like, I was like, I can't move to Atlanta, Lord, and keep my job. That's right. that's not gonna work. And so after confirmations and all that, I literally quit my job and I moved to Atlanta. And I was like, okay, cool. Here I'm gonna pursue radio and DJing. I had a company called, I have a company called Eclectic Music Enterprise. I was like, I'm gonna just go with it. I'm gonna register it. I'm gonna go ahead and step out of here on faith. Thank God for family who lived in Atlanta. But it just, uh, I'm big on alignment with God. When things align, then I know that's Him. So I asked my cousins, I was like, can I stay with y'all? They were like, yeah, come on. That was like too easy. I was like, okay, Lord, I guess wow. I'm gonna <laughs> But I mean, when I tell you God has opened some doors and who knew a pandemic was coming, like I didn't know any of that was going to happen. Right. Uh, but God is amazing. He sustains. And God is good. I mean, he really is. No complaints. Absolutely. I mean, it's been, it's, you got to work hard. And trust me, it's an adjustment. Like I said, you lose that corporate money and that money that you know that's coming every two right. weeks. You're like, okay. <laughs> what am I going to do to get, you know? Get yeah, what am I going to do to get this? <laughs> exactly. Was there any emotions? I know like when I left my... Right. Okay. <laughs> Talk to me about that. Like, were you like very excited? Were you scared? I mean, some people are so scared to like just leave a job knowing, yo, I'm gonna get two weeks pay. This is guaranteed. I know what's going on every two weeks to I'm gonna start something new and it might not take off till three months later or four or five months or even a year or two years. You know, like what was what was the, your thought process? Oh, I was absolutely. I was like, I think I was going crazy. Like <laughs> it was so funny because my roommate at the time was my best friend. Oh. And I was like, hey, I'm not gonna renew the lease. And she was like, What? And she heard dream, she sings opera. I was like, okay. You saying you want to move to New York? And I moved to Atlanta. So we were like, we cried and prayed and all that together. It's funny the weekend moved. I we moved her to New York and I moved to Atlanta. But it, I mean, all types of feelings were going through. I'm like, Lord, what am I gonna do if I if I don't make it? Like it's been right. trust, trust me. But since I've been here, it's been many a nights. So I'm like, Lord, did I make the right decisions? It's been many of crying nights in the bed. Like, Lord, I just ain't gonna make it. It has been many, many, many of those nights. As I say, this journey is not for the weak, the weak at heart, and the weak at faith. But one thing I will say is I know people always say it's a cliche, you know, God has never failed me yet. And I don't I just say God has never failed me because he's not going to fail me. So I just keep out that yet perspective because God is I'm like, OK, he's not going to if he told me and if I heard him correctly and these things are lining up, I have to know I have to work on my crazy faith. And I do have some crazy faith. My family was like, you literally move from city to city. I said, yeah, because I know God's got me like, trust me, it's been some nights where I'm like, I'm just going to pack up and go home. It's been some, some like, oh, the ugly crying nights. Like, and I'm an ugly crier. It's been some <laughs> ugly crying nights. Like, I just ain't going to make it. God has sustained me. Like I said, I just, I focus on that not yet part because I know that he's not going to fail me. But trust me, it's been some, some crying and some praying in this house. Sometimes my neighbors probably thought I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's real, you know. And I don't think it hit me till I got here. Like, I really no. just did this. Like, I, I literally just <laughs> picked big, up and moved. Big shift. And that's yes. big, like, you got you to gotta be courageous to do that. A lot of people are not. So I, I applaud you on that. Definitely. Thank you, guys. This is a struggle out here in these streets, though. But yes. yes. <laughs> if you're enjoying the content you're watching right now, 
and you want to level up and create vibes at all the events you DJ at, well, make sure you subscribe to us, right?